Welcome, welcome everyone to a very awesome tournament that was suggested by Jammy Jams. I like this idea. This is a clever idea to do a team type of tournament without actually having, you know, uh, doing tag duels here because I would have to be part of those tag duels and I know it wouldn't feel natural. I did a tournament like that and it didn't work out. It was probably the worst tournament I've had if I'm being honest with myself. That's the worst tournament I feel like I've done since I've started doing these tournaments for you guys. So this is the tournament. It is the Dueling Dates CPU tournament. And there are 12 teams as you saw. Now being 12, of course, some teams, four teams are gonna have a bye into the second round, I mean, into the quarterfinal. Um, and yeah, so, I mean, do I really need to name them all? I guess I will. We have Bastion and Tanya from GX. It just makes perfect sense. Chaz and Alexis from GX. Okay, 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 okay. Before you attack me. Yes, I know it's Jaden and Alexis. I know, I know. Just forgive me. I just did this for a joke because of that specific episode where Chaz was literally hitting on Alexis. I had to do it. <laughs> I had to do it just for, for fun. And that's why it's in the thumbnail. Because um, it's, it's funny. And some people do actually ship them together. Hasselberry and Alice, the doll Alice, because he was like obsessed with her in that one episode. Um, Jack and Carly from 5Ds makes perfect sense. Uh, he had a few girls that liked, I, I think uh, Mina liked him, right? Mina liked him and didn't someone else like him, if I remember right? Ah, uh, whatever. Anyway, um... Jimmy Jams, yep, you're in this, and Evil Beauty, who's from Season Zero. So this was his choice. I obliged his wish. <laughs> Joey and Mai, uh, no offense to all the rest of you, but they're most likely the favorite to win because they both have won several tournaments. Joey's won two, Mai's won three, I think. And they're pretty much the, other than one group that's not here for specific reasons, they're probably the strongest couple in, in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, maybe besides Yusei and Akiza. So next is, who the heck is that? Who is S-E-R? And, oh, Serenity and Tristan. Uh, see, putting them like this kind of confuses me a little bit. Serenity and Tristan. I could have done Serenity Duke, but uh, I, she just it feels right with her being with Tristan. It just does. After all the time they spent together. Um, and now these are just my personal preferences. Uh, and this is for, this is not canon, obviously. None of my stuff is real. I mean, it's canon to my channel, but that's about it. Cyrus and Dark Magician Girl. Um, Jamie Jims reminded me of this, who, who created this tournament. Um, or it was his idea, anyway. Cyrus and Dark Magician Girl, just because of that one Dual Monster Spirit Day episode. Uh, Yugi and Rebecca mix. I mean, look. If we're being honest, Taya never really liked Yugi. She liked him for the Pharaoh. She liked a Tim. It's let's be honest with ourselves. That's the truth. Rebecca was for Yugi. Rebecca was the one all over Yugi all the time. So it makes perfect sense. Taya for the Pharaoh. Rebecca for Yugi. Um, Yuma and Tori from Zexel. And you Wait, am I missing someone? Oh, I okay, they're at the bottom. You say and Akiza, they're maybe the strongest group here. Them or Joey and I. Um, but actually they between them, they only have one tournament. Joey and I have like four of uh, five. And Yuya and Yuzu from uh, from uh Arc 5. Actually, they could win. Both their decks are really powerful. I don't know. I'm my picks, my picks, definitely Joey and I. Uh, Serenity and Tristan, Yugi, Rebecca, Bastion, Tanya. Bastion, Tanya is probably the only the only GX group or non dual monsters group I'm going for. So now this is how it's going to work. So there are two duelists on each team, right? The ladies always go first on each team. So even though it says Bastion, Tanya, Tanya goes first. Even though it says Yuma, Tori, Tori goes first. So. It will be the ladies versus each other. Whoever loses that is out. Then they duel the men, one of the men on the team. 
So for example, if Bastion beats, I mean, if Tanya beats you, uh, Tanya beats Tori, then she duels Yuma. If she beats Yuma, they, they sweep them. But if Yuma beats Tanya, Yuma duels Bastion. And the winner of that third decider duel goes to the next realm. See? So all, this could either be a super short tournament that's over in an hour, or it could be a decently long tournament that's an hour and a half, two hours, like we usually have. So let's go. Bastion and Tanya versus Yuma and Tori. Hmm. One of my picks. Oh, a little too loud. Let me turn it up a little bit more. No. That's good. I like it like that. Uh, Tanya, she has won one tournament before. Tori's obviously, she was only ever in one tournament, I believe. It's just, Tori just, it's like Zexel Taya. She's essentially Taya. And yes, her deck was buffed. Pretty much all the Arc 5 and Zexel characters' decks were buffed by me. She's got nothing. Her deck's Master Hyperion, by the way. So she should have no problem here. But she's having a problem because Tanya has the better field spell and the Fighting Spirit out. Good luck. Good luck getting by that. Oh, you're... No. She lost. So that's the duel. Right? Oh yeah, that's more than enough. Okay, I was just making sure I had the math right. What happened, Tori? So she's going to have to rely on Yuma. Because that was domination. That was utter domination right there. Bastion in the corner. Tanya, win it for us. My beloved... That's my Tanya. Okay, Tanya. Number 25, and Yuma. Now, Yuma could single-handedly by himself probably win this tournament. Hmm, meager, wow, that is a meager start for him. You guys are going to catch me if I do something wrong. Well, who am I kidding? This is pre-recorded. How can you guys catch me? Yeah. Wow. Fell right for the archer trap. Dude, Tanya's going to do it all herself. She really is the buff Amazonist queen. Two 1900-point monsters, and you can only attack Tiger. Now watch, that's probably another archer's face down. Man, this will lead, this leads me into a story of when I was a kid. I'll never forget when the Tanya episodes, the two episodes back to back were airing in GX. I had gone over to my uh, grandma's house and we were going we were, we were going to go to get pizza. And but before we got pizza, we were going to CC's actually. Before we got pizza, um, this episode was on, but I had to do my homework. So I had to do my homework while watching the Bastion episode. And then, and then the Jaden one came on after that, and I did not catch it. We had to leave before the Jaden one really got into the duel. And that happened to be the one of the best duels of season one. Probably the second or third best duel of season one in my mind. Because of, partially because of that card, Amazon Serena, right here. Perfect, I was just talking about it. I mean, you're doomed. That swordswoman, you can't do any... Wow, that is one... I mean, you have nothing left. Yeah, Tanya wrecked their team. They were not even a match for her. Well, did I mention, by the way, the these are all uh, duelists that could date. If they, whatever team wins, it is a forced date. They have to go on a date. And they get married. <laughs> That's what the marriage background was for. This is just for fun, of course. This is not real, but... 
Ash and Tanya own them. Next is Hasselberry and Alice versus Yuya and Yuzu. I fear for Hasselberry and Alice. So Alice versus Yuzu. That's the first duel. Fashion didn't even get to duel there. See, the men may not get to duel as much in this tournament. Fashion may not get to duel. You never know. He's, his uh, Amazonas queen's gonna whip them all into shape without his without him needing to do a single thing. So Alice, Alice, get over here. Anyway, that was a cool little story of when I was a kid. And I always will remember that. It's something that just sticks in my mind. I'm going Hasselberry Alice. Only thing I know about Yuzu is she uses the Melodious cards, I think. I, I didn't see as much as of Arc 5 as I remember. I thought I did. I thought I saw the whole show. I thought I did. Maybe I did. I just can't remember all of it. Well now, so you removed your whole field, I mean your whole grave. Call the Hana may have been useful, but that is a creepy doll. Please get rid of it. Please. No, Mirror Force. Yuzu getting wrecked. The later series ladies are getting destroyed by the GX girls. <laughs> Never saw this coming. Diva's back. No, it's not. Oh, you have to throw away Dark Hole, though. I don't know about that. Oh, that stinks. Throwing away Dark Hole is not a good choice. Now, yeah, it's turned around on Alice. She's wide open. Mm-mm. Bravissimo. Well done. I'm impressed, Yuzu. What a comeback. So, Mirror Force has been used. Dark Hole's gone. What is it? I mean, it's got to be yeah, Swords. That's the only choice. I've never even seen Arya. There's her boss. This is her boss, Maestra. Oh man, she's got to do more than this. Uh-uh, nope. This isn't going to get it done. That is interesting, although you just helped her out. Nope, it just helped her out. Oh my gosh. Could this get any worse? Hmm. Alice gets smacked. Get that creepy doll girl out of here. Although Hasselberry's really ticked off now. I bet. So finally, GX shows a little chink in their armor. It won't let me put Hassleberry for some reason, so I have to put HGX Dino. Very specific, I know. Arc 5, Yuzu. I mean, Hassleberry's deck is way stronger than Alice's, but can you, pick, can you really pick it up and win both duels against strong later series duelists? I mean, it's, it's looking pretty good right now. Jurassic World will keep you, uh, will have you keep in the upper hand for sure. That hurts. Oh man, that hurts. He lost a lot of good stuff from that. The way she just outplayed him in one turn was, that is impressive. 
No, do not use it incorrectly, please. Okay. You have to take a hit this turn, but that's fine. You've gained control back. That card could be a problem with another Melodious monster because read its effect. Can't be destroyed by card effects or destroyed by battle when a special summon. Isn't that the one that's two tributes, Serenade? It looks like a creepy doll thing. Yeah, that stinks. But I mean, yeah, you have the light point. I mean, Hasselberry has plenty of dinos to serve up. You're not getting by his dino horde. My black stegu. Element source. Nice, the card he played on the uh, gym. Dang, all that power. And it's not enough. You gotta be kidding me. Hmm. This is a problem. This is a huge problem. Uh oh. Do I see Hasselberry in trouble? After all that hard work, you could lose in like one turn, dude. Jeez. What a comeback. And no Destiny draw. Okay, <laughs> wow. Uh, well done. What does that do? That's what that does. Uh-oh. The boss. It has enough. No! Her boss beats his boss. See ya. Well. Is that... No, that's not gonna be enough to survive, though. That was impressive maneuver, soldier. Not quite enough. That was impressive. That survival instinct move was an impressive maneuver, soldier. That was a great duel between those two. Yuzu wins, though. So. Uh, Yuya didn't even need to do anything there. That's going to be tough for Bastion and Tanya next round. Good luck, guys. So next is Chaz and Alexis versus Jamie Jams and Evil Beauty. So Jamie Jams, as you guys may know, remember from previous videos, this is his tournament. And he runs basically Yusei's deck, but to full power. And Evil Beauty uses a plant deck. Now, for Alexis, for Alexis, listen, I have separated her decks, but this is still her combined deck I'm using. This is the very last tournament I'm going to use it in, but I buffed it. So you're about to see a buff version of her deck. Just wait, watch and see. You won't be, you won't be disappointed, watch this. Uh, Evil Beauty, she's over here. You guys may remember her from the Queen of Games tournament where she nearly won it. She was very close to winning it. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Ah, here we go again. <laughs> How many times, Alexis? Don't you guys get sick of seeing Alexis just do nothing? And her deck's really strong. What are you doing? Why would you do that? I would just attack directly, because I bet you does Doble Passe. But no, I'm Alexis. I'm gonna play nothing. All the cards in my hand are useless rituals. By the way, she only has four rituals. Now, I took out the others. So that shouldn't be the problem. Okay. Prima? Yeah, Prima. No, you don't. What do you have? What on earth? 
Okay. Oh no. Triple vampire orchid. That's the duel. <laughs> Alexis. You have always traditionally done bad in my tournaments, and this was the best version of her deck that I could pull out of that. Her deck is just... Ugh. It's just... How do I explain her deck? So it's up to the Chaz to save her. This is Arm Dragon Chaz, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Whoops, I was already there, wasn't I? Okay, Evil Beauty, get over here. I don't think I'll have a problem with her, but then he's got a dual jammy jam, so that's gonna be his problem. Jammy jams, your date's doing pretty good here. Pretty solid. I mean, she's a good duelist. She's... I'd call her probably the third best plant duelist behind Leon and um, Akiza, in my tournaments at least. That's a really cool card, and I really like Rigorous Reaver. But, you know, that's a fire monster, and that boosts element dragon. Say your prayers. Here it comes. He didn't attack correctly, but that's okay. If he was smart, I know why he wanted more damage done. Actually, does that, that almost won the door right there. But the problem is you don't get level 7 now. So many dates, so little time. Feral Imp and Attack Moon. Never thought I'd see the day. Ah. By the way, that's like her only non-plant. <laughs> that's literally just for her Rose Spectre of Dunn. Call of the Haunted. Speaking of, the Halloween tournament is going to be really fun this year. I have something super special planned. That was a smart, very smart play. You're out of time, Evil Beauty. You got to do something right now. That's a amazing. That's really well done. That was about the smartest move she could have done. Because, wow, is he in trouble? He's in a little bit of trouble. Ah. Now, okay. This is smart. Attack Snake Yashi with level 5 and you're going to be set. Don't use your effect unless you have to. Threw away, doesn't he have two level sevens there? Yeah, but he's not gonna. Was that Dragon's Rage? This is Dragon's Rage. This is one of the rare times he ever uses it. Chaz's win. So we're actually going to a third duel this time. The two guy duelists. Chaz versus Jamie Jams. Which one will keep their date alive? Hmm. Let's go Jamie Jams. I'm going for you. Hope you win. Don't worry, I got a face for you, Jamie Jams. <laughs> Not too worry. Yep, 
There you go. There's a face. There's a face. Oh, Jamie Gems, please do well, do well. I built your deck just right. I mean, Source is definitely going to help. This is your tournament, Jamie Jams. It's your destiny. Oh, that... Oh, man. He lost all his good stuff. What you got? Hey, that's that Stardust card. That card's really good. Shield Wing. It's, like, protected forever. It takes three attacks to take that thing out. Quobalt. Yikes. I mean, that's something, but... This is about to get ugly, isn't it? Where are his Synchrons? I filled his deck with Synchrons all over the place. Double Shielding? Sweet. That's like the best case scenario for him. Double Mass Dragon versus Double Shield Wing. Pretty sure Shield Wing holds out. That's, this is good? Can't that make... It can. From three, come one. Great cosmic might. I synchro summon Excel synchron. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I see what you're doing. Clever. Stardust. From two, come one. Great cosmic might. I synchro summon Stardust Dragon. Let's go. Yeah, this card, um, what does it do again? It can't be destroyed by battle. And each time its effect is applied, it gains 800. So if you try to destroy it, it's going to get stronger. Let's go. I see Junk Warrior on the horizon. This is basically you say versus Chaz. He's not going to... He's not going to do it. Dang, Chaz has to think super hard here. See, this is that was his mistake because now he doesn't get level five. That's not gonna. Oh, his effect! I forgot. Forgot his, his effect is negated. That's not gonna work. That was really foolish. Are you kidding me? That's what he got? What a top deck. You're a main character, Jamie Jens. You are officially a main character. This is a fun tournament already. I can tell this is going to be a super fun tournament. From two, come one, great cosmic. Ah, I'm tired of saying it. <laughs> Just enjoy it. No, you got rid of the wrong one. Jamie Jens, you have officially messed up. Comes back, should have 800 more. He doesn't? I thought Stardust Phantom's effect. Oh, it loses 800? I guess it's... See, that doesn't work, dude. Chaz, I admire your tenacity, but that's not going to work. This card's invincible. Level 7's your only hit, essentially. And he won't level up for some reason. I have no idea. Maybe he get rid of all his level fives. I don't know. I think Chaz is toast. The Chaz has screwed up for the last time. Alexis is probably happy. She didn't have to marry this guy. <laughs> This is about to get real ugly, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. Is that what I think it is? It is. Junk Berserker. Yep. 
Yep. Kamakiri's effect gone. That Kamakiri will work. And you have nothing left for it. Wonderful. Absolutely stupendous. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, my dear friend. The Chaz gets destroyed by Jamie Jams. Finish him with Junk and Berserker. Not really your boss, but it's a strong card. Great work, Jamie Jams. You and Evil Beauty keep moving on. You could win her her first tournament. And your first, too. So, who will duel Jamie James and Evil Beauty? Serenity and Tristan, or Cyrus and Dark Magician Girl? So, Serenity versus Dark Magician Girl first. This should be fun. Would you believe it? Neither of them are in this game. I mean, they each only have one duel anyway, so I guess, yeah. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. Tristan's crush versus Cyrus's crush. Sure, that will come into play later when she plays Return from a Different Dimension. I know her plan. I know I know how she plays. She's quite a good duelist. Serenity is also quite a good duelist. She's about to show you. I summon my deck master, goddess with a third eye. Well, she lost all her good cards. This is just terrible. So you're staring down an element magician and ancient elf. You really need something here, Serenity. Really something good. That's okay. That's fine. That, yeah, that could definitely help later. Even mystical elves being used against you. That's actually not good. Okay, you're lucky that you're still below 4,000. Because that actually could have been a problem for you. I saw Mirror Force is gone, so Dark Hole is her only way out of this. Only way. Yep. Excellent. But no monster. Yikes. Magician's Valkyria. The card she used in the in the GX anime. But not before the Pharaoh did. That was he used it first. That's my card. Baby Dragon. And she summons herself. The legendary Dark Magician Girl. Ah, sorry, Serenity. Perfect win for Dark Magician Girl. Alright, can Tristan pick up where Serenity left off and get a win? Uh, maybe. Tristan's a decent... He Remember, he got into a finals once. It's in Death T. Tristan is in this game. Luckily. Magician Girl's a tough cookie, but if anyone can do it, Tristan can. Look, 
this guy with a weaker deck back then almost beat the creator of light and Zork, I believe. Or no, almost, I can't remember how it happened, but he, he almost beat one of them. He's got a lock. Never mind, no he doesn't. Not good. Our magician girl has just the she has a very strong spellcaster deck. I would say does she have the second strong? <laughs> There's Shovel Crusher, his card from Capsule Monsters. You guys watch Capsule Monsters? You would remember he used this in the Labyrinth uh, level. How can I help him here, though? This may be good, though, because he's getting a Destiny draw now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Not bad. I'll never forget when I got Command Knight that one time. Uh, in the Tim. I got it from the Tim. So yeah, she can afford that. That's not a problem for her. God, no face downs. That's his problem. He's not getting any face downs. No, Robo Yaro. Uh huh. That's it. No, that's the duel. Tristan Serenity, sorry, but you guys are out. Some very old school cool cards used there. Dang. Sorry, guys. Tristan did fight harder than Serenity, but it was not enough. So Cyrus doesn't even need a duel. Dark Magician Girl takes him to victory. And now the rest are buys in the first round. So what are we at? We're at 37 minutes. This could be a very short tournament. <laughs> we are going to see how we can go here. Um, it's not going to be one video. It's not. But Bastion and Tanya versus Yuya and Yuzu is the first quarter final. Let's go, guys. So Tanya versus Yuzu. This should be fun. Tanya's deck is good enough to go up against, you know, meta decks for this, for these tournaments. Tanya's, I mean, Amazon is at one time probably were decent, but the early Amazon cards, a lot of them weren't as good. Now, anime Tanya, see, with, with like a arena is very interesting because it changes duels, changes how duels are played. It makes you think strategically about attacking. That, see, now the problem is they can't be destroyed in battle, right? Since it was special. Oh, it can. It can, but they can't. I see. Get played. Amazonist Archer's owning this tournament. Let's go, Tanya. Fashion's like in the corners, like, that's how she got to me, ha. Huh? <laughs> Dang, it was almost the duel right there. If she somehow gets off another attack and then uses Archer's effect, that would have... What are you doing? What is your plan? Diva? Yeah, Diva. You need to go to that Archer now. But she doesn't get another one. Village. It takes a village. <laughs> It really takes a village to win duels. Yeah, this duel's over. Tanya wrecks Yuzu. Not even close. That's my girl, Tanya. Tanya's like, yeah, yeah, lover boy. 
Only took a hundred points of damage. Tanya. Impressive. What am I doing? It's not over yet. <laughs> we know we got more duels to go. So it's Tanya versus um, Yuya. Bastion may not have to duel at all. Tanya's literally doing all the heavy lifting. She's doing everything. All right, Yuya, you're up. Save your girlfriend. Save your girlfriend. Yep, that's his usual starting move, so we can get his Pendulum Wizard. She's just so strong. She has set, watch, she'll set archers. Archers face down. Guaranteed. There's some OP cards he has right there. Which what's he gonna get though? Just this one monster. Whoops, I think that's a dramatic rescue. Let's go. Dramatic rescue actually used correctly? I actually like the English artwork better than the Japanese artwork. Hmm, she's in trouble for once. Getting now played by a couple of uh, performing monsters. Donkey. Watch out, it's Eddie Murphy, guys. Donkey. Wonder how many people knew he was Mushu the Dragon and Donkey from Shrek. You know, uh, what is his name? Actually, Wushu. No, Mushu. It was Mushu from Mulan. It was Mushu, right? What was the name of it? Or was it Wushu? I can never remember. Was it Mushu or Wushu? She's lost. I mean, her face sounds must not do anything. Nope. See ya. Loses to her own field spell, just like in the anime. Tanya does finally lose one. Well played, Yuya. Well played. Not sure what her face downs were, but that dramatic rescue play was epic. So we have Bastion versus Yuya. This is it. It's everything's on the line here. This is it. This is where the best of three comes into play. No one treats my Tanya that way. Prepare for a right good butt kicking. Wow. Bastion means business. He actually put Oxy Get on an attack mode. <laughs> He almost never, he always puts in face down defense mode, always. What does that do? What is that card? Command performance. Oh, that one puts him in defense. Dang, that was a good move. A shame he couldn't fully capitalize on it. Oh, is that the hippo? No, that's not the hippo. Why is he not attacking? Oh, because he knew. Carbonet on exactly what he wanted into the grave. Mathematician! I mean, it was even for a second, but I think Bastion's got the upper hand. He's a smart to duelist. And see, he was using his noggin. This way he didn't have Destiny Draw. He lost. Because he didn't get a Destiny Draw. Kyozanru, the Diamond Dragon. Let's go. Bastion wins it for Tanya. Let's go. The Dream Team keeps it alive.
Nice work, Bastion. That was a good duel. Really good duel. So it did go to best of three, but Bastion and Tanya win it. Who will meet them in the semifinal? Jimmy Jams and Evil Beauty or Cyrus and Dark Magician Girl? So it will be Evil Beauty versus Dark Magician Girl first. You know what? I'm going, like I said, Jamie Jams and Evil Beauty. I want to see them win. There's a Rose Spectre of Dunn. I was waiting to see it. Do you have Des you actually have the Descendental play? I pulled it off once in my life. Just one time. As soon as Magician's Force came out, I got both of them somehow. That's an okay move. Does it return on your field? I mean, this is okay, but you're going to start hurting very soon, Dark Magician Girl, I promise you, starting next turn. Yeah, you got to take make the most of this. Uh, this is getting very bad. Oh, yes. You have one turn. It would have been nice if she had foolishly... Well, Heavy Storm needs to be played for Dimension Gate. But I'm wondering if it returns to your side of the field, since it was originally your monster. Dark Magician Girl, I'm talking about. Because there it is over there. In the remove pile. There it is. That's what I was talking about. Let's see. Nah, it doesn't work like that. Okay. So Mirror Force is what she has, I think. She's, is she wise? Oh, right. No, it's because she can't attack. What am I saying? It's because she can't attack him. But now she will. That stinks. All that hard work. Out the window. It's like the song. Yep, say like goodbye to your old monster. Dream Sprite, huh? Oh, we got a duel between these two. I can't believe Barrel Lily is controlling a duel. What the? <laughs> All on Angel of Roses, yeah. Evil Beauty's gonna win this. Yes, yeah, she won. Perfect. Exact damage for Barrel Lily. I've never seen Barrel Lily win a duel, but now you have. This wicked flower attacks enemies with pollen projectiles. Oh. Sorry, I was looking at the same real quick. That was great. That was fun to see. I, Dark Magician Girl losing that early is crazy. So that means the Cyrus finally has to do something. Sire, uh, I mean, Evil Beauty first. Nope, 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 go back. Cyrus. It's like 105. Yep, and next to Willard the monkey. 
So the team of Dark Magician Girl and Cyrus, another GX team, are on the ropes. What is it with GX and all their dating teams? They have so many dating groups. And yes, I promise. Speaking of, uh, since we talked about Alexis earlier, her decks are separated now. This, by the time of this tournament, they're separated. It's just, this is the last one I wanted to really try that deck out. Power Bond already? Oh, Parasycroid. Foolish to do it right now, because you're not going to be able to attack. I don't know, man. Evil Beauty still has full control. Oh, no. He lost more than she did. She's actually in trouble now. She's lost control. She's lost control. Drew Lloyd um, draws the duel even. Interesting. Jimmy Jim, that's bait. It's no, 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 it's bait. Wall of Thorns. No, the triple Drilloid combo. It wasn't enough. The mighty Wall of Thorns. Cyrus fell for the bait hook, line, and sinker. Truckroid, wow. He eats the plant. Give me. Give me your plant. Nope. He baited you this time. Get baited. No, no. She still has really good defenders. Don't forget Dust Dendal. There we go. That is one card that could beat it. Let's go. Cyrus figuring it out. Cyrus. Uh huh. This is good. Attack the. Still, attack the steamroid. No, you fool. What were you thinking? What were you thinking attacking that? I, I don't know what she was thinking at all. That was so weird. Did I just see him throw away a monster? I think I saw him throw away one. And he lost because of that. That's the duel. <gasps> Forgot about Kyroid. Okay, now he definitely should get a Destiny draw off this. Or maybe it was Kyroid either way, I don't know. Pot agreed, it better be some two really good cards. I don't think you survived, Cyrus. No, no. See ya. No freaking way. Another Kyroid. <laughs> no way he survived. I mean, actually, he will survive one more attack. Yeah. No, he survives. Evil Beauty's like, freak. How does this little punk keep surviving? You little pep squeak. Okay, he's out now. He's gotta be. He'll survive this attack, but no way he survives the next one. Okay. Took 30 turns, but she beat him. You know what that means, right? They lose. Uh, Evil Beauty, Jamie Jams didn't even need to duel there. Alright, so Jamie Jams and Evil Beauty, well done, guys. Well done. Um, You know what? One more. You say in Akiza. Versus Yugi and Rebecca. Oh no. So Akiza versus Rebecca first.
Let's go back. I'm sorry, I gotta, I mean, I have to go against you, Santa Cruz. I'm going for Yugi Rebecca all the way, all the way. They're one of my main picks, besides Joey and Mai. Come on, Beck, you can do it. I believe in you. This is the last matchup, too, of this uh, part one. Then we'll do part two. Dang. Oh, hopefully you can beat it by battle now. Okay, good. Excellent. Gravity bind. Nope. Mirror force. Get wrecked. She was ready. She baited you with a gravity bind. Dang, Rebecca's getting super lucky right now. Rebecca over there is like, this is for you, schmoopums. You get embarrassed. Yugi always gets gets embarrassed so easily. He doesn't like speaking in front of crowds or anything like that. Giga plant, uh-oh. Rebecca's now in trouble. Giga plant can take over duels. Not good. Really not good. No, 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 Rebecca. This is about to get ugly. She can revive whatever she wishes. Blue Rose. And the worst part about this is I don't think she gets a Destiny Girl. No, she doesn't. She's at 42. That's the worst part about it. How are you going to survive the next turn? Oh, a face down. Mm, we'll see. I don't know yet. A triple mystic tomato. No mirror force. Okay. She does not survive this turn, right? No, she doesn't survive this turn. What's that face down? I got another face down. Typhoon. Rebecca kind of gets destroyed after the first few turns. Kind of shocking. Rebecca going out like that. Wow. It's up to Yugi. It's up to Yugi, who has... Him and Rebecca have won one tournament, so they have two combined. Akiza's never won a tournament. She's gotten close. So Akiza versus Yugi Moto. He's number 53, I know by heart. Let's go. It's up to you, Yugi. Well, I want to see you versus you, say I really do. I really, really do. That's a scary start. That, although you wasted Lone Fire Blossom. Splendid Rose. Nope. Oh, yep. Dang. Yugi got. Man, that was bad. Yeah, Yugi has to find some way around this. That's a start. Guy of the Midnight Sun. Emerge to my field. Giga Plant. 
shoot. She's got control. She's forcing Yugi to go all out. That was so smart. Yugi was waiting that whole time, wasn't he? That was such a smart play. That was really, really clever. That was foolish. I know you had, for a fact, you had Gaia in your grave. Yugi, I knew for a fact you had Gaia in your grave. Come on, man. No, I don't like this at all. Nope, this is bad. They both can... Yeah, this is so bad. Yugi's about to get destroyed in one move. He doesn't even survive. Oh, I see, I see. Yes, he does survive this turn. I see what he has. Yugi somehow, by a miracle, survives. I'm sorry, by the heart of the cards, he survives. That's not gonna matter. Keep it in defense. He was waiting for that. He's trying to draw out her traps. more attack like that and he definitely loses this is it and no destiny draw this is it he already used regeki no face down goodbye sorry yugi yugi ah you say it akiza i mean akiza sorry akiza is too powerful destroys yugi man yugi held on for a little bit but he just made a couple of bad plays early Regeki too early then didn't revive Gaia stuff like that adds up so Akiza 2 O's Rebecca and Yugi no need for you say there and we will end the video here and go with part two next hope you guys enjoyed so far like and subscribe on YouTube the channel's name's Animangus see you for the next one bye bye guys